As a traveler, with only a partial understanding of history and historical figures, and a gradually blurred understanding of modern science knowledge, he is in a state of partial understanding without systematic support. How can he break through the limitations of the times, move towards prosperity, brightness, and the path of Kuangzhuang in the new era? He carries a melancholic heart of modern thinking and uses his half-understood knowledge to create his own brilliance. Chapter 1 Recalling the First Half of Life You are listening at NovelFull.audio The capital city is full of darkness and high winds. Lu Meng woke up from the darkness and looked around to find himself lying on a luxurious bed, full of alcohol and a headache that was about to crack. A memory that did not belong to him flooded into his mind. Me, is this a time travel? Where is this? The voice in my mind slowly rang out, and I, Wang Mang, was appointed as Huang Men Lang and Xixing Colonel at the age of 24. At the age of 30, I was promoted to the rank of Guanlu Grand Tutor, Cavalry Captain, and Attendant, and became a close vassal of Emperor Qing of Han. After countless times of hiding and recuperating, I finally ascended to the throne yesterday when I was getting older, and my lifelong wish was finally fulfilled. So why did I suddenly cross over to him? Lu Meng thought to himself, I just stepped on a glowing leaf on the roadside out of curiosity. Although I have achieved nothing to this day, I am only forty years old, which has resulted in a loss of nearly ten years of life in vain. Moreover, with only fifteen years of historical knowledge, Wang Mang has been an emperor before Hiccup. What harm has befallen me? Others have either crossed over to strong young men or impoverished children, using modern knowledge to strive for strength and gain wealth slash beauty slash power. Before I was born, Lu Mang almost encountered an unexpected situation. Lu Mang's parents were originally from the Dink family, but they accidentally got pregnant. Under the pressure of death from their grandparents, their parents had to compromise and give birth to him. After birth, Although he indulged in the indulgence of his family, he also looked white and pure, with great potential for a beautiful man. When Lu Mang was born, his parents were already in his forties, and his grandparents were also nearly seventy years old. When he reached eighteen, only his parents were left. At this moment, both parents have retired and no longer have the pressure from their parents. They have completely let themselves go, only providing Lu Mang with a small amount of living and university expenses. The two of them spend their days chatting and traveling to the beautiful rivers and mountains of the motherland. Wherever it is lively, their presence can be found. In the first half of the year, they were still eating barbecue in a certain place, and in the second half, they went to the north to pretend to be little potatoes, completely disregarding themselves and not caring about whether they have girlfriends, boyfriends, and the like. Apart from making some money, there is basically no communication for a year. Since Lu Mang graduated, contact has been rare, and it can be considered that they have enjoyed all the flowers of life. With his impressive talent, he was admitted to a certain 985 university. Due to being caught too harshly in high school, I completely let go of myself after going to college. To this day, I have no choice but to work in a state-owned enterprise. Although I am lonely and alone, I am happy and have no one to care about me. I have already spent money, but it is also a life of lying flat. Just every time I go home, finish playing games, and in the quiet of the night, the cold bed feels a bit lonely and cold. My meager salary income, aside from daily expenses and a portion of emergency funds reserved, is spent on eliminating loneliness and coldness. The constant mixing of day and day has almost forgotten my proud knowledge of mathematics, physics, and chemistry. I don't know the art of refining fine salt, only the chemical molecular formula of salt, I don't know the method of making soap, I also forgot about the art of ice making. At this moment, how should one survive when traveling to someone over fifty years old? Oh, I almost forgot, I am now the emperor of the Han dynasty. Oh no! he should be the founding monarch of the new dynasty. It seems like there's no need to worry about how to live. Lu Mang thought to himself. The only concern now is how to govern this country and how not to let Lu Xiu, the son of the ruling class, 
develop. Headache, I only remember Lu Xiu, I only remember something like the Green Forest Army. What should I do? Forget it, first look in a mirror and see your weak body. Lu Xiu walked up to the bronze mirror. How could the person in front of her be so close to her forty-year-old appearance? Is there such a good way to maintain herself in ancient times? Is my system here? Just now, it was strange that everyone else has a system when traveling. How could I not have the keyword system in my mind? It turns out that I am waiting here, ha ha ha, heaven never dies for me. The system should come out quickly. Chapter 2 Where is the system? You are listening at NovelFull.audio System, come out quickly, come out quickly, let me see your greatness, I can't wait anymore. Lu Mang muttered to himself in the mirror, hoping that the sound of the system would ring in his mind. With the passage of time and the gradual awakening of alcohol, except for the brief introduction of Wang Mang's life that had just popped up in his mind, the system never made a sound. Is the system brushing me, deliberately honing my will, Lu Mang thought to himself, comforting and encouraging himself, not giving up on himself, and engaged in an inseparable struggle with the system. Is it another quarter of an hour, two quarters of an hour, or three quarters of an hour? Why is there still only one's own meditation in the mind? Although the self in the bronze mirror tends to be visible to the naked eye, the skin becomes more and more radiant when viewed carefully. Although it may not seem like something to outsiders, one can always feel something. Is it difficult? This is the only benefit. Don't play with me in the system, come and save me. I beg you, I'll kneel down for you. No, I'll sing conquer for you. Lu Mang shouted wildly in his heart. Then, all of this was futile, and everything around me remained unchanged, except for faint lights swaying in the moonlight. Suddenly, Lu Mang shivered and stood for a long time. In a daze, it seemed a bit cold on this late autumn night. It's better to warm up in bed first. Lu Mang walked towards the bed, realizing in a daze that he had forgotten to think about something. That is to say, having read countless time travel novels, or one of the theoretical basis for travel, its biggest feature is that it usually travels to people on the brink of death. Wang Mang is well behaved, and he has just ascended to the throne, so he should be really proud of himself. How could he suddenly hiccup tonight? This is not reasonable. Let me recall it carefully. Maybe if I recall it well, the system will respond to me quickly. Perhaps this is the first crucial test that the system has given me. Speaking of which, going back to last night's banquet for everyone, it seems like I had a few more drinks besides being happy, but the alcohol smell still lingers on my body. As the saying goes, although strong wine is good, don't be greedy. Although I claim to be a person who never gets drunk or pours a thousand cups, I can't resist toasting from others. I have such a good face. I drank two-thirds more bottles than usual. Unexpectedly, in the middle of the night, my alcohol breath broke out, and I used to lie in bed for a while without gasping for breath. I just hiccuped like this, not even shouting for death. I picked myself a big bargain. Hey, it seems that in order to live happily in the future, the only way is to quit drinking for the first time, exercise to cover up the tricks of becoming younger, and the third step is to have the system appear quickly. I miss you so much. Time passed by bit by bit, and roosters began to crow non stop. The sky gradually changed from black to white, as if the sound of morning court had begun. Your Majesty, please change your clothes. A sharp and hoarse voice sounded in his ear, which frightened Lu Mang. He was quick-witted and slightly perked up, pretending to have no systematic panic. He slowly sat up and trembled a bit, saying, Come in. Eunuchs and palace maids picked up their toiletries, luxurious clothes, and walked slowly. Lu Mang imitated the movements of his past life based on his memory, opened his arms, and asked the palace maid to put on his clothes. When everything was ready, he walked towards the lobby and couldn't help but turn back to look at the room and the bronze mirror. There was still no system, only a silent shout. Chapter 3 
Amnesty to the World. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Your Majesty, please take a look at this list from the Morning Court. After resting in the Morning Court for a while, the eunuch was ordered to present the already prepared Imperial Edict to Lu Mang. Lu Mang was originally preoccupied and had no intention of reading it, but suddenly realized that after ascending the throne, he would grant amnesty to the world and reward based on merit. It's not a big deal to talk about merit and reward. After all, following the previous steps is not a problem, but amnesty is a bit inappropriate. Allowing such a cruel and ruthless criminal to escape punishment for his ascension to the throne is even more unacceptable for Lu Mang, who has this modern mindset and has always enjoyed seeking justice online. This is not only an indulgence towards the criminals, but also a secondary blow to the victims. Upon hearing this, Lu Mangben blurted out his words and forcefully withdrew them, taking the imperial edict and carefully examining it. The first few lines are the main ministers who discuss merit and reward, such as Kong Ren, Zhao Bo, Fei Xing, and others. At the end of the reading, the words, Amnesty to the World, appeared, but there was not a single name. As I have seen, it is consistent. Amnesty to the World Anyone who is guilty, except for those who commit rebellion, will be released without charge. This, 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 Lu Mang couldn't help but squeak a few times before ordering. Bring a pen. I casually cross out the words, amnesty for the world, above, and also highlight the importance of merit and reward. This is not enough to make these people feel inferior. As for their help in ascending the throne, what does it have to do with me, Lu Mang? Take it, read the revised edict according to it, Lu Mang threw the edict to the eunuch. The eunuch hurriedly picked up the edict, fearing that the holy heart would become angry. As the radiance of the sun gradually shone on the court, all the ministers had already stood on top of the court in order. Under the guidance of the eunuch, Lu Mang walked towards the dragon chair. After Lu Mang sat down, the civil and military officials of the entire court knelt down and shouted, Long live the emperor, long live the emperor. Although Lu Mang knew about this process, he felt a little more confident when he first heard it. His feet, which had just been hidden under the broad dragon robe, were still trembling. Lu Mang calmed down for a moment and said, All my beloved ministers, stay calm. Although it was a pleasant experience, there was always a different emotion in his heart, causing a faint sense of unease, as if something was wrong. Announced the decree, the eunuch opened the imperial edict and began to recite it. The more he recited it, the more confused the ministers became. It was all trivial matters, and the crucial things of merit, reward, and amnesty were gone. The courtiers were still puzzled, and the eunuch slowly closed the edict, announcing the completion of the reading. The courtiers looked at me with a puzzled expression on their faces, worried about you. In the end, they cast all their puzzled gaze on Sun Ren. Your Majesty, this, Kong Ren took a step forward and was about to ask. A.I. Ching, don't panic. The most crucial matters of merit, reward, and amnesty for the world were naturally temporarily assigned by me, but it felt a bit inappropriate. Lu Mang took the initiative to prevent Sun Ren from continuing. Today, we will mainly discuss the method of amnesty for the world, and reward based on merit. After the meeting, Kong Aiching, Zhao Aiching, and Fei Aiching will stay together to discuss again. How to? Your Majesty, think carefully. Kong Ren saw that Lu Mang had already made up his mind, and it was difficult to say what he would do. This amnesty for the whole world, according to the ancestral system, is not inappropriate for the new emperor to ascend the throne, promote benevolence and virtue, and also announce such great events to the world. What the gentleman said is true, but the guilt, regardless of its magnitude, is not guilty. It seems to contradict the spirit of our court's law and is a secondary harm to the innocent. Can you consider it, A.I. Ching? Seeing Kong Renrua pondering, Lu Mangxu approached slowly and said, Ningwai, a general amnesty is still necessary for the world. Otherwise, how can I show my magnanimity? How about choosing such a compromise? 
For those who commit capital crimes, they will be sentenced to 20 years in prison, for those who are sentenced to 20 years in prison, they will be sentenced to 15 years, in this order, they will be reduced. How do you think, beloved ministers? Your majesty is wise, the crowd knelt and worshipped. Then let's follow this plan, Lu Meng gestured to his courtiers to stand up. Since that's the case, the whole country has been pardoned, even criminals have been pardoned. It seems unreasonable for others not to reward them. What do the beloved ministers have in mind? Kong Ren, a great Confucian scholar of the time, naturally embodies the mind and body of the people. Regardless of whether Lu Meng is digging a pit or not, if he does not take this opportunity to seek some benefits for the people, he will be worthy of himself. I deeply believe that the people's lives are difficult nowadays, and taxes and corv a e are heavy. Why not take this opportunity to reduce the suffering of the people's taxes and corv a e? Mr. Kong, you are truly a great scholar of our dynasty. After the meeting, we will quickly draft a detailed plan and submit it to you. All the beloved ministers should learn from Kong Aiching. Yes, Kong Ren stepped down. Yes, the beloved ministers responded. People, we have considered it. Besides discussing merits and rewards later on, should we also reward our beloved ministers? Lu Meng pondered, the etiquette of rulers and ministers seems to be in line with etiquette. However, in the new dynasty, we should also break free from secular concepts and break free from shackles. Our new dynasty aims to govern the world together with scholars. So, how can we demonstrate communism? Let me think about it first, let's break through from the form. Come, give our beloved ministers a seat, and in the future, everyone should sit down. It's so tiring to stand. As the guard searched for the gap in the seat, Lu Meng slowly walked down the steps and stood with the courtiers. In the midst of the confusion among the courtiers, he spoke again, from now on, there is no need to kneel down or shout the false slogan of, long live the emperor, long live the long live. Let me ask, who in this world can live forever? Why deceive oneself? I'm afraid this is not appropriate, Kong Ren calmed down for the first time in a panic, truly deserving of being an old minister who had experienced the ups and downs of the world. What's wrong with this? The new atmosphere of the new dynasty has been decided. Please forgive me and yourself. As for you all, most of you are of the same age as me, and some important officials are older than me. Let you kneel down for me, I'm afraid it will ruin my life. I kneel before you, it's a ritual. How could there be a saying of sacrificing one's life? Ah, this ritual may seem reasonable, but it is also unfounded. From today on, we will follow this request and declare it to the world. The people, servants, servants, and officials or masters are not allowed to kneel, and those who violate it will be punished. Lu Mang's tone became stronger. Additionally, I will lead by example, come and move this dragon chair, level the stairs, and at the same time, build a long table on this court. The beloved ministers will sit on the chair, put some hot water cups on the table, and discuss national affairs together. Isn't it beautiful? The beloved ministers were still in shock, but they didn't expect a general amnesty and their own welfare. They were all shocked and speechless. Okay, since that's the case, everyone has no objections. The Ministry of Works should quickly renovate the court according to this plan, hoping that in three days, all the beloved ministers can see a brand new court and a brand new appearance. Lu Meng announced on his own, all the beloved ministers have been granted amnesty. Before I am by my side, I can definitely not miss it. Eunuchs and palace maids can visit their hometowns for a total of one month, but we need to stagger the time. By the way, Kong Aiching, what do you think of being a eunuch? Having a strong body and skin, I dare not harm my parents. Kong Ren pondered for a moment and felt that Lu Mang had a different feeling from before. He decided to comply with his wishes and express his own understanding. Let me be bold, eunuchs go against the sage's words. Okay, that's right. 
In that case, I'm a little bolder and want to abolish the ban on sexual intercourse. I hope this group of eunuchs will be the last eunuchs on the land of China. Your Majesty is wise, the courtiers were about to kneel when they were stopped by Lu Mangyi, who couldn't cover his ears. Today's matter has been discussed for quite some time. Let's leave the court. Kong Aiching, Zhao Aiching, and Fei Aiching will stay and discuss the matter of merit rewards. The others will leave. Chapter 4 Rewards for Merit You are listening at NovelFull.audio As the saying goes, after the other courtiers withdraw from the main hall. How about following me to the imperial study, three beloved ministers? In no time, he arrived at the imperial study. Come, give me a seat, Lu Mang instructed the nearby guards. Looking at the three important ministers in front of me who supported me to ascend the throne as emperor, although I don't have that much responsibility and burden, I still need to rely on them in front of me, so I still need to give them some sweetness first. Sun Aiching, as planned before, you will serve as the prime minister, Zhao Aiching, you will serve as the grand tutor, Fei Aiching, you will serve as the imperial censor, you three will jointly serve as prime ministers, with Sun Aiching as the leader and leading the courtiers. I wonder what your intentions are. Upon hearing this, the three of them were overjoyed. They had thought there was something to change their minds, but they didn't expect it to be the same as what was previously agreed upon. The three of them are not polite, thank you, your majesty, for your grace. The three of you, who have worked hard and achieved great success, should bear this heavy responsibility and assist me in governing this country. However, other personnel, who have neither contributed nor worked hard, may not be appropriate to be promoted to the imperial palace. After all, since I have just ascended the throne, it is necessary to award officials, but we must make them contribute something. If there is no contribution, there must be something to compensate the court. The main way for officials to be promoted in the past was through effective governance, ensuring that the people in their jurisdiction lived and worked in peace and contentment, and that their generals fought bravely against the enemy and obtained military achievements. Besides, what other compensation could officials give to the country? Oh, by the way, the current national treasury is empty. Is it possible to compensate the country with a certain amount of silver? However, there is no precedent for this, so it may not be appropriate. The temporary emptiness of the national treasury is not an urgent matter. There are many ways to fill the national treasury, such as reducing court expenses and increasing certain high return taxes. However, the most important thing is to increase the income of the people in our country. When they have money, the national treasury will naturally become prosperous. Although Lu Mang has not read any basic economics and has a partial understanding of finance, he also has some understanding of basic means of getting rich, especially the theory that the people are rich, which has his own unique sense of identification. Your Majesty, the idea of if the people are rich, then the country is rich is really wonderful. Zhao Baoyu pondered and carefully pondered, relying on his years of economic research, unconsciously flattering him. Since there's no need for money, how can we compensate for the country's losses? A. I. Ching, please think about what is more important to us in this society besides power, gold and silver, and beautiful women. Or, in other words, what are the prerequisites for having power, gold and silver, and beautiful women? Land. The three of them looked at each other, seeing the same answer in each other's eyes, and said in unison. The three beloved ministers are worthy of the title of our courtiers, with five carriages of wealth and knowledge. Lu Mang nodded, the court now has no surplus land, and land is the foundation of every noble family's prosperity and wealth. At the same time, you also know that the current land consolidation is severe, and how to solve this land consolidation problem is also a major issue for us in the future. To establish one's heart for heaven and earth, to establish one's destiny for the people, to inherit unique knowledge from the sage, and to create peace for all generations. How can one achieve one's heart for heaven and earth, to establish one's destiny for the people, to inherit unique knowledge from the sage, and to create peace for all generations? 
To establish one's heart for heaven and earth, to establish one's destiny for the people, to inherit the teachings of the sages, and to bring peace to the world. Kong Ren repeated this sentence repeatedly, even reaching a state of selflessness for a moment. Seeing Zhao Bo and Fei Xing both, they were equally shocked, as if this sentence struck deep into their souls. No, this classic sentence seems to have not been published yet. Lu Meng thought to himself, but since he had already said it, it actually had the effect of unintentionally planting willows and willows to create shade. To achieve better results, Lu Meng had to increase his firepower. I personally think that everyone has enough to eat, everyone wears warm clothes, and everyone lives well. I don't know what the three beloved ministers mean. Kong Ren and the three others regained their excitement from the beginning and arched their hands, saying, Your Majesty's words are very accurate. The sentence just now summarizes the lifelong wish of the old man. To achieve this wish, I am willing to be completely brainless. I Ching, what you said is too heavy. Now I Ching knows what I mean, right? Land, land is not only their foundation, but also the foundation of the people, so asking them to compensate for the losses of the country, of course, is none other than land. Fei Xing was excited and rubbed his hands, still in a state of excitement. Chapter 5 Land Reform You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lu Meng was well aware that in the late Western Han Dynasty, land consolidation was severe and class contradictions intensified, which was an inevitable product of a certain stage of the development of feudal dynasties. For the new dynasty, how to solve the land problem well involves the stability of the new dynasty and the foundation for better development in the future. Directly adopting the method of forceful seizure to nationalize the land may cause dissatisfaction and anger among vested interest groups in various regions. When relying on them, many of them may not be able to carry out the task and suffer for themselves. We must find a way to make them voluntarily surrender their land, which is the test of the water that we accidentally wanted when rewarding based on merit. Fei Aiching, that's exactly what I want. Sun Aiching, what is the current population and land area in the country, and how much land does the court need to raise to meet actual needs? Your Majesty, if I remember correctly, the current population in the country is nearly 60 million, with a total of 12 million households and approximately 80,000 acres of farmland. Sun Ren pondered for a moment and blurted out, given the current severity of land consolidation, at least 10,000 acres are needed to make up for the shortfall. The total number of officials is about 180,000. If each official were to compensate 500 acres, it would only be 9 million acres, which is far from enough. What A.I. Ching said is quite true. There is always better compensation than not. Of course, this is just one way. But if you want to do it well and be able to implement it, I hope the three A.I. Ching can set an example. This is nature. In order to fulfill one's lifelong wish, even a thousand families are willing to waste their wealth. The old family has two thousand acres of fertile land. May it all be handed over. I understand your intentions. This plan has caused Sun Iching heavy losses, which I cannot bear. However, as a model, Sun Iching has set an example by offering 1500 acres, and I will definitely compensate for this loss in the future. We are also willing to set an example by setting an example of 1500 acres, Zhao Bo and Fei Xing immediately approached and said. Okay, good, good. The three I Ching are worthy of being the pillars of our court. How to implement this land compensation measure? Sun I Ching will draft a plan and discuss it at the court in three days' time. The first step of land reform has a place and foothold, but it is far from enough. More aggressive stimulus plans are needed. However, according to Kong I Ching's estimation, this quantity can only quench thirst, but cannot cure the root cause. Firstly, the quantity is limited, and secondly, the people's lives are difficult, or they are heading towards a dilemma of buying and selling land. Do the three of you have any ideas? After compensating the people again for this land, the method to prevent land consolidation is simple. 
Land trading is prohibited and can only be done by the court. However, the quantity is limited, so it may be difficult to improve the existing court. Fei Xing replied. Kong Ren and three others, with each word you said, I thought for a while but couldn't come up with a feasible plan. On the other hand, there is a basic consensus on the prohibition of land trading, which has been finalized, and even specific implementation rules have been proposed. In view of this, Lu Mang did not hide any secrets and released the big move of mutual land reform. Three beloved ministers, there's no good way. How about listening to my thoughts? Lu Mang stopped the three from discussing endlessly. It's consistent with the idea of exchanging land for promotion just now, exchanging land for officials and confiscating illegal farmland. Lu Mang explained his idea that currently, except for those who hold official positions and have a large amount of land, the rest of the land is mainly concentrated in the hands of local aristocratic families and powerful individuals. For the former dynasty's nobility, the status of nobility should be abolished, except for those who made contributions to the country, basically referring to the honor obtained by resisting foreign enemies, and the land under their name naturally cannot be relied upon and can be nationalized. For local powerful merchants, they are not short of money or people, but only lack a sense of security, that is, there are no court officials, so they have to spend a lot of capital every year to purchase such insurance. In this way, if the court provides them with the opportunity to exchange land for officials, they may be overjoyed, right? This also indirectly solves the pain point of uneven distribution of promotion fields for officials. However, after buying and selling officials, so many vacant positions in the country have decreased, which cannot meet the current needs, Kong Ren pondered for a long time and expressed his doubts. Moreover, over time, the system of selecting officials has become increasingly chaotic. How can the country govern and stabilize? A. I. Ching, what I'm considering is that. However, this is only a temporary solution, so there must be a time limit, let's set it at one month, and you can also use Deng Qin to give the opportunity to wealthy families, which will never happen again in the future. Lu Mang smiled faintly and spoke eloquently, as for the problem of insufficient and overly bloated officials that A.I. Qing is worried about, it's actually easy to solve. As long as there are enough eliminated officials, isn't it enough? It's about the end of the year to assess officials at all levels, A.I. Qing. And since there is a new atmosphere in the new year and land reform, there will naturally be official selection and reform. This is to start with the land reform. Solve the problem and discuss it in detail later, Your Majesty, it was our negligence to consider it properly. Kong Ren and Lu Mang agreed as they saw the situation and Lu Mang's words were reasonable. In that case, let's draw up a plan for land reform based on this. The last topic today is almost the same, which is about the affairs of scholars. As the saying goes, there is a golden house in books, and beauty is like jade in books. After years of hard study, how can talented people be selected to contribute to the country? Only in this way can we ensure long-term stability and stability of the country. Chapter 6 Establishing Encore You are listening at NovelFull.audio The system of selecting officials in the Western Han Dynasty mainly included the system of procuratorial examination and the system of conscription. Among them, the examination system is mainly used. Mainly relying on the three central officials, nine ministers, county lords, nobles, and senior local officials, selecting talents who meet the moral, moral, and talent needs of the ruling class from the common people or low-level officials according to certain standards to enter the court as officials. The person being scrutinized must be a person of high moral character, outstanding knowledge and ability, and the method of selecting officials from bottom to top. The conscription system was another system of selecting officials during the Western Han Dynasty, which was divided into two aspects. The recruitment of emperors and the elimination of prefectures and counties. The targets recruited by the emperor are mostly social celebrities with high reputation and excellent character and education, and those recruited are often entrusted with important positions. 
The three beloved ministers should be familiar with the system of imperial examinations, after all, everyone should have entered the officialdom through this method, and many of your disciples were also recommended by you. Lu Meng walked back and forth several times, but when no one spoke, he went straight to the topic. At the beginning, everyone was highly respected and respected, and the three officials and nine ministers were admirable. The recommended people all followed the rules and had good character to recommend outstanding people. However, with the passage of time, the drawbacks of this examination system have become more and more obvious. This human nature is always subject to examination, and this rule is ultimately only the will of the ancestors, which can be countless. Let's first sort out the drawbacks of this examination system, and then explore the new system of selecting officials. After all, this time, we need to work hard to govern, involving a matter that benefits ourselves and future generations, and truly achieve eternal peace. Next, Lu Mang and the three ministers discussed the system of procuratorial examination in simple and profound terms. In the later stages of the imperial examination system, there are more and more phenomena of entering official career through bribery or other relationships. The examination of moral qualities is difficult, as human moral qualities require long dot term observation to obtain more objective evaluations, and such words and actions may only be superficial, and may even undergo transformation. The widespread implementation of the imperial examination system has led to scholars overly focusing on appearance rather than actual work. The power of local procuratorial examination is easily controlled by a small number of ministers and prestigious families, so when selecting officials, they tend to recommend descendants from prestigious families, without considering their actual abilities and morals. The transformation of the imperial examination system into a hereditary system ultimately led to the corruption of the bureaucratic system. The monopoly of aristocratic families on official career has made it even more difficult for talented and ordinary children from humble backgrounds to stand out. Excellent talents are extremely easy to be buried. Lack of objective standards, subjective and arbitrary evaluation criteria of recommenders, and lack of unified standards. One of the main culprits of corruption in the officialdom. Kong Ren, Zhao Bo, Fei Xing, and Lu Mang became more and more frightened as they discussed. If these drawbacks cannot be corrected, then the new atmosphere of the new dynasty may only be a castle in the air, and it will collapse at any time. Why not adopt the system of censoring and selecting officials for filial piety and integrity? This has been proven to be a more impractical solution. At least there is still a central assessment to check the system of inspection and examination, but this is just a problem that naturally arises after being corroded and ineffective. So, is this central assessment a solution? Kong Ren pondered in his heart. Your Majesty, I have carefully considered it. The system of procuratorial examinations is increasingly unable to select outstanding officials. This is due to corruption in the officialdom, and secondly, the central assessment is merely a formality. A.I. Ching, the summary is in place. So, to fundamentally solve this problem, we need to start from these two directions. First, weaken recommendations, or even to the extreme, do not recommend directly. Second, strengthen the central assessment, and even layer by layer assessment, first in rural areas, then in counties, and finally in the central assessment. So, selecting another highly respected official as the person in charge of selecting officials, specifically responsible for controlling and overseeing all matters, is it impossible to select qualified officials? Upon hearing Lu Mang's discussion of the imperial examination system, Kong Ren's eyes lit up and he clarified the ways involved. While Zhao Bo and Fei Xing were still in a daze, and still pondering the emperor's intentions, with the guidance of Kong Ren, it seemed to open up the two meridians of Ren and Du, and they repeatedly agreed. This design is a clever trick. Since everyone has sorted out the situation, then the matter is very simple. I would like to refer to this new system of selecting officials as the imperial examination system. And the one I personally came to guide is called the Enka. However, this also seems to have drawbacks. 
If selected annually, officials will quickly become saturated and unable to be resettled. Iching, don't worry. Every year's selection not only consumes time, financial resources, and energy, but also the number of talents is constant, and talents also need to learn and grow. So, the basic cycle is three years. What do you think? It's entirely up to your majesty to make the decision, the three of them replied in unison. I have just ascended the throne, and the current bureaucratic system in the court is still the original system. It needs to be broken not only from the outside, but also from the inside. Taking advantage of this trend, let's establish the Anka in a month. Lu Mang took advantage of the situation and determined the time for the Anka. The specific content of the assessment should refer to the previous assessment requirements. Not only should we test the basic poetry, literature, and prose, but also the ability to solve problems in practice. Since I am the teacher of this Anka, I will determine the strategy in conclusion parts, and the rest will be handled by Kong Aiching. Yes, I will definitely live up to your majesty's expectations. Kong Wenxing was overjoyed. Someone, bring me pen, ink, paper, and ink stone. I need to come up with a question on sight. Lu Mang was infected by Kong Ren. Lu Mang secretly rejoiced in the question of what problems should be posed in the theory of strategy to make it difficult for these students. Strategy Theory Mencia said. The people are precious, followed by the state, and the ruler is light. Folk Limericks Life is truly precious, love is more valuable, and if it's for freedom, both can be thrown away. Based on the above information, try to elaborate on the idea of valuing the people over the king, and analyze the relationship between democracy and freedom. Final Question Axiom Setting 1 Any two points can be connected by a straight line. Axiom setting 2. Any line segment can be infinitely extended into a straight line. Axiom setting 3. Given any line segment, it is possible to create a circle with one of its endpoints as the center and that line segment as the radius. Axiom setting 4. All right angles are congruent. Axiom setting 5. If both lines intersect with the third line and the sum of the inner angles on the same side is less than the sum of the two right angles, then these two lines must intersect on that side. Using previous axioms, attempt to prove. Take any point outside the circle and make the two secants of the circle. The product of the lengths of the two line segments from this point to the intersection of each secant and the circle is equal. Note. A straight line cutting a circle into two parts is called a tangent. Three beloved ministers, this concluding question was obtained by chance from a historical site during my studies. Lu Mang tidied up his pen and ink, carefully handing over the two major questions he had written to Kong Ren. The matters discussed with the three ministers today must be fully implemented. Especially the establishment of officials based on land, we must wait until the promotion of officials is completed before we can implement it. Before that, no rumors can be leaked, otherwise we will know what will happen. This is the premise of land reform, otherwise everything is empty talk and ideal. At the same time, doing these things well is also an opportunity for us to stay famous for eternity. Think about what kind of prosperous era we will usher in, and there will be no one before and no one after. Lu Mang's kindness and authority were combined, achieving excellent results at this moment. Yes, I comply. Specifically, Kong Aiching, are you mainly responsible for drafting the specific matters of the Anka with Wen Yuenga? Zhao Aiching and Fei Aiching, the specific matters of land promotion will be your responsibility, after all, we need to persuade more colleagues. It's almost noon now. How about we finish our meal together and go back? During the meal, Lu Mang, Kong Ren, and others delved deeper into the discussion and provided a rough model of its effects and future trends. After finishing the meal, Kong Ren and the three others left. On the way back, Zhao Bo and Fei Xing inquired, This land reform, the act of benevolence, is all a good strategy, and it is also a masterpiece but it has caused us to lose more than half of our fertile land in vain. 
we have been busy for half a day, not only without rewards, but also with benefits. It's really unwillingness. Excuse me, would you be willing to use these 1,500 acres of fertile land to exchange for the well-being of the people and the long-term prosperity of the country? Kongren asked seriously. This is our lifelong wish. Even if I dedicate all of my fertile land, I am willing to do so. This is an opportunity to stay famous for eternity. People like us who have read scriptures don't want it. Zhao Bo saw this and became equally serious, but isn't there even a shadow at the moment? Hey hey, don't you realize that your majesty today is different from the past? Although he was kind to people in the past, he always felt that some things were hidden very deeply. But today's words of your majesty not only express kindness verbally, but also promote it to the whole country. Don't trample the law at will, sympathize with the people, and treat scholars kindly, especially the selection system of the imperial examination. Can't you see these signs, two brothers, as a sign of prosperity? Is it not worth betting on the future with the 1500 mu of fertile land? Brother Kong, what you said is quite true. It's because of our narrow-mindedness, not the actions of a gentleman. Zhao Bo and Fei Xing carefully pondered, feeling very reasonable. So, my dear brothers, the beginning of this land reform is in your hands. We must not mess it up, otherwise there will be endless troubles ahead. Moreover, we have really lost both our wives and soldiers. Yes, the two of us will take action immediately. Let's see our good news in three days. Chapter 7 Touring the Imperial Garden You are listening at NovelFull.audio After seeing off Kong Ren and his companions, Lu Meng summoned the eunuch to familiarize himself with the palace. Even though the appearance of the palace was incredibly clear in Lu Meng's mind and his memory, there was still a sense of freshness. Touring the Imperial Palace as a tourist, with dedicated guides and complete ancient buildings, you can imagine how many people you envy, and most importantly, it's free. Who said that free is the most expensive? Isn't this a legitimate free ride? There have been rumors that the Imperial Garden is unparalleled in the world, with unparalleled beauty shrinking within it. Let's go to the Imperial Garden. The eunuch in chief and a group of palace maids followed Lu Mang to the Imperial Garden. This Imperial Garden really lives up to its reputation, Lu Mang thought to himself as he looked at the bewildering scene before him. It's really extravagant, and there are still powerful people who know how to enjoy it. Lu Mang looked at everything in front of him. In this late autumn season, the birds were still singing and the flowers were fragrant. Even if he had seen the real scene in his mind, he was truly intimidated. I think this is a reflection of why not eat minced meat. Once upon a time, Lu Mang witnessed many joys and sorrows during his time as a keyboard hero on the internet, but indirectly left a heart knot of compassion in his heart. I can't see farmers working hard all their lives and unable to enjoy their old age peacefully, I can't see children crying in front of sick mothers, I can't see parents powerless when their children are sick, I can't see the premature aging of 996 workers, I can't see I once thought, if that day, I had the opportunity to change everything, how wonderful it would be. By the way, this morning in court, the holiday I mentioned, when do you want to rest? Lu Mang looked at these scenes, as if triggering something, his heart became even more uncomfortable, thinking of his past obsession. Turning around to see a group of eunuchs and palace maids, Lu Mang remembered the promise made in the morning to give eunuchs and palace maids a holiday. With this in mind, he looked around and suddenly knew what to do now. Being good to the people around you is always right, and this is also the first time I have practiced crossing time and space. Servant, I only wish to serve your majesty well. The eunuch in chief was startled. I dare not expect a day off. Oh, I'm not a waste. Do you still think that if I leave you, I can't live on my own? My servant, that's not what I meant. The eunuch couldn't help but kneel down. Okay, I understand. There's no need to panic, get up quickly. I've said that in the future, no matter the courtiers or servants, 
there's no need to kneel down. Can you take my words for granted? The eunuch in chief stood up again in panic. By the way, how many years have you been in the palace? It has been thirty years since I entered the palace, said the eunuch in chief, somewhat lost in thought. Oh, life can last for several thirty years. It's time to return home dressed in luxury, Lu Mang sighed. These many years, combined with rewards and salaries, money and other things should be sufficient. The country is in a state of great waste and cannot afford to give you any extra money to return home dressed in luxury. I still want to serve you for a few more years. That's it. Before returning home, let's do one last thing for me. Let's count the age and number of eunuchs and palace maids in the palace. Those who have been in the palace for more than twelve years will return home, those who have been in the palace for less than twelve years will continue to stay according to their wishes. I obey your orders, the eunuch in chief agreed with a runny nose and tears. Besides eunuchs and palace maids, what other unfortunate people are there in the palace? Lu Mang asked. Empress Zhang, who was sent to the cold palace, said a palace maid beside her who looked somewhat delicate, gathering her courage. Before Zhang Guifei was sent to the cold palace, she had helped her several times when she first entered the palace. Today, I finally have the opportunity to speak my heart. Empress Li Guifei, who was beaten into the cold palace, Wang Guifei, the Empress Dowager, who was sent to the cold palace. All right, I understand now, Lu Mang interrupted their demands. I really don't understand how there are so many noble concubines and how so many people have been sent to the cold palace. It seems that the beauty of the harem is not deceiving me. Then you can also count the concubines who were sent to the cold palace and those who were not sent to the cold palace, and see if they are willing to leave the palace on a voluntary basis. Please report them all together, Lu Mang instructed the eunuch in charge. I obey your orders. However, from my perspective, there is one aspect that is more worthy of your majesty's attention. Where is it? Draft Palace. I, why did I forget this place? Take me quickly and go ahead. Before entering the Draft Palace, there were repeated shouts of criticism coming from inside. Approaching the gate of the Draft Palace, the scolding person becomes more and more obvious. In the palace, unlike in your home, all manners and appearances need to be upright. Keep your chest straight, look up, and stand straight. The draft official shouted, you can't even stand well. How can you serve the emperor well? Chapter 8 Selection Palace You are listening at NovelFull.audio What a great aura, what a great official demeanor. I don't even have the same majestic and domineering aura as you do, Lu Mang said calmly as he pushed open the door of the selection palace. Standing in this palace are neatly arranged girls, dressed in uniform and graceful. Even in ordinary clothes, they exude a youthful aura. What greatly disrupts the entire environment is that a middle-aged woman in her forties or fifties, holding a slender bamboo stick, sometimes thrusts her hand at a young lady who does not follow her instructions. Long live, long live, long live, my emperor. The female official in charge of teaching the etiquette of the ladies knelt down in panic as Lu Mang strode towards her. I apologize for not welcoming you in a timely manner, your majesty. As an official in charge of etiquette, haven't you heard of the etiquette just promoted in the morning court today? Do you still need my guidance? Although the female official had heard of it, she truly felt that Lu Mang was acting recklessly and feared that she would not continue with the execution. She would wait for the opportunity to take action later. For some unknown reason, suddenly arrived at the Zayunu Palace. I don't know whether to continue kneeling or stand up now. At present, I had to endure my scalp and tremble back. Your Majesty, the information is not very clear. What is your majesty saying? First of all, stand up and promote this person well. Lu Mang looked at the female official who wanted to stand but didn't dare to stand, chuckling inwardly and pointing to the eunuch in chief. The eunuch in chief will go to the court, and Lu Mang will abolish the ugly habit of kneeling and worship, 
as well as the strong demand for immediate execution reiterated by the Imperial Garden. He will explain it in detail. All right, you understand the rules now. Let's briefly talk about the current situation in the Selection Palace, Lu Mang instructed. Ladies, there's no need to stand so upright. Don't you feel tired and flustered? Naturally, I feel a little more at ease. Obey me. Looking at the full and bustling young ladies, due to their open stance, there were actually around 200 people in total, half of whom came from prestigious families with many children. If they could establish a relationship with the royal family, their goal would be achieved. Combined with the management of their respective families, their competitiveness would be the strongest. About 90% of them come from humble families, with a declining family background and no other options. Their competitiveness comes in second place, and they are probably mostly palace maids. And the rest came from the common people, who were carefully selected throughout the country, with only about four or five people, mainly required by the emperor. After understanding the general situation of the draft palace, Lu Mang looked back and forth at this group of ladies, each with their own unique characteristics. Looking at such a charming scene, he pondered who to choose. Remembering the classic quotes on the internet, only children make choices, while adults do. Lu Mang couldn't help but swallow his saliva. Suddenly, a refreshing breeze blew by, and Lu Mang couldn't help but sigh, secretly cursing himself as a beast. Did he want to become the person he once hated the most? Looking back, when I saw a famous celebrity marrying a girl younger than my granddaughter on the internet, I cursed for three days and three nights, transforming from being an iron fan to a black fan of iron in iron. Hey, that's it, Lu Mang wiped his lips. Returning to the front of the palace and standing in front of the lady, she smiled unnaturally and said, I offended you so much just now. That man must not show his ugly face when he saw this scene. Next, based on the principle of voluntary participation, we will conduct statistics. If you want to leave the palace wall and return to your own home, please write your name. If you don't want to leave, please provide sufficient reasons. I agree with the reason, stay, and if you don't agree, you will also leave. Upon hearing this, the ladies were all stunned, with a rhythm of wanting to eat them just now. I'm afraid they won't be able to escape their clutches today. Suddenly, how could they be allowed to choose freely? Go and bring over the list. Prepare your pens, ink, paper, and ink stones, and then line up according to your preferences. Prepare your own wording. Once everything is ready, the female official starts writing and taking notes. First, please come up and leave or not leave. Little girl, I don't want to leave. I came here to serve His Majesty the Emperor, but I don't want to leave. This reason is not appropriate, let's leave. Lu Mang sat in a rocking chair and smiled as he looked at the first bold lady. Second place. The little girl refused to leave because she didn't want to let down so many days of hard work. The reason is not appropriate, let's leave. Third place. The little girl doesn't want to leave. My father is Li Gang, and my father is a Lang's Hongling adult. Oh, the reason is still not appropriate. Let's leave. Fourth place. The little girl doesn't want to leave, I am the most beautiful and moving here. I'm quite confident, but the reason is still not appropriate. Let's leave. Fifth place. I don't want to leave, your majesty, are you looking at me? The woman twisted her hips, waist, and neck towards Lu Mang. Jumping well, don't embarrass yourself next time. The reason is not appropriate, let's leave. Oh, finally it's over. This day is full enough. Although the ladies were all unwilling to leave and spoke for various reasons, Lu Mang refused to accept either soft or hard, citing inappropriate reasons. At first, he had a slight interest in teasing them, but later on, he seemed a bit bored. Lu Mang opened his eyes, stretched out his arm, and watched as the bustling palace turned into a bustling one, feeling a little more relaxed and comfortable. Your Majesty, there are no more ladies in this Sayuna palace. 
what should I do now? You're easy to handle. You've been in the palace for over twenty years, haven't you? Your majesty is wise and has been serving as this ceremonial official for over twenty-five years. Well, I believe over the years, those high dot ranking officials and nobles have given a lot of gifts, asking you to take care of their daughter more, right? Those who were selected, do you still have a heavy thank you? Your Majesty, this. The female official panicked and habitually wanted to kneel down, but was immediately stopped by Lu Mang. As a ceremonial official, why do you want to cause me injustice? What I said earlier was purely a guess and has no solid evidence. Even if it is true, it is still a matter of the previous dynasty. Let him handle the matter of the previous dynasty. Lu Mang paused for a moment, and to ease the somewhat serious atmosphere, he said with some playfulness. All right, I'm not joking with you anymore. The Zayuna Palace will be disbanded, and I plan to gradually abolish other rituals. As for you, there won't be much use in the palace anymore. Pack up your savings over the years and go out of the palace. What should we do? Are you still single? If you don't have any direction, I'll show you a clear path. I am still alone in this situation, your majesty. Please make it clear. Why not buy a property in the capital? After working hard for a lifetime, it's time to enjoy a happy life in the future. Then, find a little white face, and you won't be empty, lonely, and cold at night. It's better to be carefree from now on. However, I suggest depositing money into a bank before that, firmly holding on to the money, otherwise you will be left with nothing. After finishing these words, Lu Mang felt extremely happy, as if he had accomplished a great task and given so many people a free and easy life. They would all be grateful to me for their happy life in the future. Even if some utilitarian aristocratic families are distinguished, it is difficult to say anything, after all, those who were personally rejected by Lu Mang cannot blindly violate the holy will. Lu Mang strode out of the draft palace, leaving the female official sitting paralyzed on the ground, pondering whether to adopt Lu Mang's suggestion. She looked like a dull bird. Just as I walked out of the draft palace, I saw four ladies crying in front of the door. Chapter 9 Plum Orchid Bamboo Chrysanthemum You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Didn't they all leave? Why are there still people crying here? Lu Mang frowned, although in contemporary times imperial power is authority and he doesn't care about royal authority, it is always unreasonable. Lu Mang pondered for a moment and asked. What's going on with you all? If you don't leave quickly and don't know the way, go ask the consul. We, the four of us, all come from impoverished mountain villages and have never left the mountain gate since we were young. Occasionally, when we left our homes, we were taken by bandits to other places. Coincidentally, the court selected beautiful women from various regions and they were offered to the government by villains, and we arrived here. Where are we going now? The world is vast, where does the little girl's family live? The little girl is already unclear. Easy to handle, there should be registrations in various places. It should be possible to find the way home. However, I'm also afraid that the information is fake, and it's also difficult to handle for such a long time. Let's each talk about your own situation, right? Originally, these four people came from remote areas. After being sent to the government, the criminals named each of them. However, when the four of them talked privately, they didn't want to reminisce about the unbearable past. To commemorate this day of rebirth, they encouraged each other with plum blossoms, orchids, bamboo chrysanthemums. The four were of the same age and had no idea of their birthday, so they decided on the order of sisters in the form of stone, scissors and cloth. Boss, May. Lively by nature. From the north. Second, Lawn. Hot personality. From the west. Third, Bamboo. Strong character. From the east. Fourth, chrysanthemum. Weak personality. From the south. This beautiful official has just been disbanded by Lu Mang, 
and these four people have now become hot potatoes in Lu Mang's hands. If they stay, it would violate their own statement just now. Not staying and letting them live and die on their own is not something that Lu Mang can accept. Let the little girls stay by your majesty's side, whether it's to be cows or horses, or to serve every day, as long as we have a bite to eat, we will be satisfied. May, the leader, wept pitifully. Upon seeing this, Lu Mang lost his temper. After a moment of reflection, there are still many things that need to be assisted in the future. Although with his own prestige, there is no need for loyalty, and Lu Mang does not need loyal people. Such people may hinder his future plans. However, if someone has the power to appeal, can better spread their thinking, and be better accepted by people, then the beauty effect is more efficient. Thus, Lu Mang had a preliminary idea in his heart. It's not impossible to keep you here. But in the future, you must not have the idea of doing things for others, nor must you obey anyone, including me. You may fulfill these premises. Although Mei, Lan, Zhu, and Zhu were puzzled, they all nodded repeatedly in agreement to stay and not leave. Okay, so what? It's also inconvenient to keep you by my side, so as not to let others talk too much. As for us, we have a significant age difference, and it's not our wish to take you as concubines. So, let's take you as my adopted daughter. What do you think? Lu Mang calmly expressed his thoughts in his heart. Perhaps the people around him did not understand why he accepted him as his adopted daughter, even though he could have all of them. Isn't this a waste of time? Actually, Lu Mang is considering from their perspective. Although being a concubine can solve urgent problems, it does ruin someone else's life and hinder their ability to do things. As a foster daughter, one can not only help oneself handle complex matters, but also attract young talents, who are the talents one urgently needs. Little girls wish, Mei, Lan, Zhu, and Zhu were overjoyed for a moment. Becoming the daughter of His Majesty was equivalent to suddenly transitioning from a nun to a princess of the new dynasty, much more free than a concubine, and the benefits were self-evident. Don't rush to be happy either. Although I am the emperor, you are also the princess of our dynasty. If you enjoy wealth and prosperity, you must bear more obligations. At the same time, your princess status is still quite useful now, but soon, I hope my role will become less and less important, just like other people of our dynasty. I will also work hard towards you, after all, you come from the common people and can better understand the difficulties of the people. Lu Mang reminded, next, in order to improve your literacy and knowledge, let's go to Guozijian to study. I hope you study hard and serve your country. The four of them exclaimed happily, their eyes shining with an unprecedented light, as if life had just begun. Now they are respectively Her Royal Highness Princess Mei, Her Royal Highness Princess Lan, Her Royal Highness Royal Highness Princess, Her Royal Highness Princess Royal Highness Princess. Then, they were completely unaware that learning knowledge was much more painful and arduous than practicing etiquette, but there was also more joy, understanding, and value. Let this Sayuna Palace serve as your mansion and be renamed as the Princess's Mansion. Lu Mang looked at the Zayuna Palace in front of him and casually said. Tomorrow, come with me to the Imperial Academy. It's late today, let's do this for now, let's arrange our own affairs separately. The eunuch in chief led a few people to organize the roster. Randomly designate a palace made next to him to replace his duties. After arranging the four daughters, how should I arrange it myself? In this world, there is no mobile phone, no TV, no internet, no extravagance. Wait, isn't this palace the biggest place to spend money and drink? By the way, what's your name? Lu Mang said to the palace maid next to him. The maid is called Li Yin Hua. All right, Xiao Li, don't call yourself a servant anymore. I don't like the word, slave, dot. So, what should I call myself? Well, let me think about it. Don't be so flashy. Usually, just call yourself, me, be more domineering, just, Miss I. In short, show your independent personality. 
Your Majesty, what is an independent personality? Oh, forget it. Follow me and learn slowly. Lu Meng shook his head, but there was nothing he could do. Let's go to the Empress's place tonight and lead the way ahead. Xiao Li walked ahead and headed towards Jiao Fang Hall. Chapter 10 Empress Ichuan. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Empress Xiaomu Wang, born in Jinan County, is the daughter of Wang Xian, the Marquis of Ichuan. After the establishment of the new dynasty, she was appointed as the queen and changed her name to Ichuan. Lu Meng followed Xiao Li towards the Jiaofang Hall. He needed to have a good understanding of the people around him in order to handle things well. Palace made Xiao Li, born into a commoner's family, was sent to the palace at the age of twelve due to a year of famine that left her parents helpless. With her adorable appearance and boundless potential for the future, she was sent to the palace for eight years now. Unfortunately, young and lovely, the future is promising, but growing up may not necessarily lead to a downfall. Xiao Li's appearance can only be maintained at the current standard of seven points. In the palace, where eight points are everywhere and seven points do not go to dogs, Xiao Li can only be described as ordinary. Moreover, without any external influence, she has always been in the position of a palace maid. In the workplace, eight years is enough to become an old fogey. In a company with a slightly easier management, it can be said that where you can fish and where you need to increase your efforts, you can be very clear. However, in this place of the palace, eight years have just crossed the threshold for newcomers. Xiao Li is diligent and meticulous, being extremely cautious every day and not daring to be careless at all. Because she has seen too many people like her, and because she said the wrong thing or did the wrong thing, she has been separated. With this caution and agility, she successfully walked into the emperor's side to serve. Thanks to her caution and rigorous work, she gained the recognition of the eunuch-in-chief. In the face of today's rare opportunity, she stood out among the palace maids and became Lu Mang's personal palace maid. This is both an opportunity and a challenge. Lu Mang understood these things and secretly admired a twelve-year-old girl who could grow up in this perilous palace and imagine the hardships involved. Think about it, what were you doing when you were twelve years old? Working hard to learn. Opening your mouth for dinner and reaching out for clothes. Are you being mischievous? I always sigh that my parents have less care, but compared to this era, there is food and drink, clothing and housing, air conditioning and heating. What do ordinary people have here besides high-dot-ranking officials? Thinking of this, since I have arrived, although I only know that the subsequent dynasty will be the Eastern Han dynasty, and my time is only that few years. So let's use these ten years to work hard, at least to make them live a life without selling children or women. Afterwards, you can take over the position of the former eunuch in charge. Lu Meng decided to start from the first person beside him, as for the others, Xiao Li, you should also make good arrangements and improve your treatment. As for the holidays, please arrange them properly according to today's morning court's requirements. Yes, Your Majesty. Chat time is always brief and enjoyable. Looking up, I only saw the door of Jiaofang Hall. Your Majesty, here we are, Xiao Li shouted towards the Jiaofang Hall. Next time, don't shout, I'm here. Let's change these bad habits. Obey me. Congratulations, Your Majesty. The Empress Ichuan and the palace maids of Jiaofang Hall saluted. Let's all get up, Xiao Li. Tell them the new rules. Next, Xiao Li promoted the requirement that there was no need to kneel down. This requirement needs to be notified as soon as possible, otherwise, I have to explain it every time. I'm not bored to death. Tomorrow, Kong Ren must declare the world. Empress, how about having dinner here today? Your Majesty, I am honored to have this elegant occasion today. Hurry, hurry, serve your meal. Ichuan clan, it is expected that Lu Mang will be here today. After all, it is the first day of ascending the throne, and he should be able to share this joy with himself. The food is also prepared early, and it is mostly favored by Wang Mang. 
the table was filled with food. I'm happy today. With so many dishes, Empress and I can't finish either. Let's all sit down, Lu Mang asked the palace maids to sit down together. I'm afraid it's not in line with etiquette, is it? The queen hesitated a bit. Next time the empress has the opportunity, she will go to the morning court with me to see the new atmosphere of the new court. Breaking away from the old and bad etiquette is the top priority of this new court, and establishing our new etiquette. Lu Mang smiled slightly and explained, while urging the others to sit down quickly. Let's eat, Lu Mang said after everyone else sat down carefully. Your Majesty, eating this dish may not suit your taste. Well, not bad, Lu Mang said with relish. Hurry up and eat, take big bites. There shouldn't be any waste on this table. Meanwhile, Lu Mang gestured to the queen. Empress Ichuan, who was able to become empress, is not just an ordinary person, as her mother is in the world. Seeing that Lu Mang's actions today are indeed different from before, it is necessary to comply with his wishes and observe and follow up slowly in the future. Everyone, hurry up and move your chopsticks. Ichuan quickly greeted Lu Mang after understanding his meaning. The palace maids ate this delicacy for the first time, and due to Lu Mang and the empress, they were all careful, taking small bites one by one. Seeing this, Lu Mang also knew that he had influenced the appetite of others, so he quickened the pace of eating, and after three cuts and five divisions, he was full. I'm full now, you eat slowly. Make sure to finish the meal. Remember to finish it and tidy it up. Immediately, Lu Mang pulled the unfinished Ichuan family out. Lu Mang and the Ichuan family came outside and watched the sunset set in the west. The gentle breeze blew in, and as he watched the scene, Lu Mang had to recite a poem. The setting sun is infinitely beautiful, just approaching dusk. Your Majesty, today is so elegant. Although this poem has a profound artistic conception, dot. Ichuan asked somewhat puzzled, probably because suddenly he couldn't understand the person who accompanied him for half his life. He he, you see, we don't look like this sunset with its afterglow. Your Majesty, it's at its peak. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Zitong, you will still comfort me. I know from the past, you have been blaming me. For the rest of my life, I won't. Lu Mang hugged the Ichuan family and thought to himself that he had once forced the death of his second son, even though he adhered to his usual principle of equality for all. But in this era, besides myself, who else would take this seriously? Even if there is an explanation for the people around the world, Ichuan cannot explain it to those around her. Ichuan was moved in a daze. Since her second son was forced to death, she had always harbored a deep hatred towards him. Every night in the quiet, she cursed and hated Lu Mang. Today, seeing what has been said, I feel a little better in my heart. Lu Mang hugged the Ichuan family. At this time, although Ichuan had already passed her youth, after all, the most important thing in the palace was maintenance, and Ichuan still retained her charm. Lu Mang looked at the Ichuan family and became deeply moved. He thought to himself, perhaps he also had Mangda's preferences, shouldn't he? A moment later, the palace maids finished their meal, tidied up the table, and walked out together. Your Majesty, we have eaten well, Xiao Li wiped his lips and walked towards Lu Mang, saying. Okay, it's getting late and you should step back. The Empress and I are going to rest now. The night is cold, so you should rest early too.